Hey, welcome everybody. Ashley Applegate and Keegan Dales here with Kentucky Welding Institute. We're gonna spend a few minutes talking to you about different types of TIG rigs. So we've got three different TIG rigs of different sizes and different brands. So I'm gonna introduce a rig and then Keegan's gonna talk about some of the jobs maybe he's been on recently and in which he's used that style. So the first one, we're gonna get the 9FV. This rig is made by Miller and a lot of people call this a mini rig because it's small in size. So Keegan, where have you used this one at? So the mini rigs, you'll use them in tight spaces. You'll use them in boilers and in like if the company puts you up against a wall or with a weld that is hard to get to. And these mini rigs, we call them turkey necks because they look like a turkey neck right here okay. and they flex. So you can get really specific with different types of mini rigs. And if you talk to a boiler welder, they'll tell you their favorite mini rig right off the rip. But these mini rigs are really great because they're small, they have a small cup, and the gas lens is small as well so you can fit in those tight spaces. The only thing you have to watch out for with mini rigs is if you have the gas flow too high, you'll blow porosity. So you just gotta really be careful with mini rigs. But uh, this is a Miller, and they, they make really good TIG rigs too. And we're not getting brand specific here, so we got all different brands, all different sizes. Right. So that's mainly what you'll use mini rigs for is tight spaces and boiler tubes. Okay, and all these rigs are FV, which means they do have a flex head and they do have a valve. All these rigs from different manufacturers come in a stationary, which is a solid non-flex, but we just happen to have the flex versions uh, on the table today. So we're moving up the line a little bit in, in amperage and size. The next one we grab is a Profax. This is a 17V. This, this rig is gonna be around 150 amps or, or so. It's a little bit larger. Keegan, where would you want this rig at? So this rig will be your most common rig out of all the rigs we'll have today. You'll use this rig on socket welds. You'll use it on standard wall pipe, anywhere from four inch to eight inch to 10 inch. Now, depending on hot, how hot you run, it depends on whether you'll keep using it or move up. But this is the most common rig you'll use because it's still light, but it also can carry a lot of heat as well. And so you can run a medium sized cup on it or a jumbo sized cup, but most people usually run a medium sized cup on this just because it suits it really well. And this is a Profax TIG torch as well. And it's just, it's what you're gonna be using the most of because it's, it, it fits a wide range of sizes of pipe, positions, and it just works really well. Okay, cool. So if we're moving up the line, we're gonna get into a bigger rig. Uh, the first two rigs that we talk about are a one-piece rig. That means your gas and your heat come through the same cable. We're moving up to the Heavy Hitters 250 amp rig. This is a two-piece TIG rig. So I've got a gas hose and then I've got my electric current coming in another one. Got this thing fixed with a jumbo gas lens on it. Keegan, where are you going around the Heavy Hitters 250? So the Heavy Hitters 250 TIG torch is if you're welding heavy wall pipe all day long. Okay. So the last job we was on was in Wyoming. It was heavy wall stainless, chrome, carbon, and ink and L pipe. And the reason why you want a two-piece TIG torch if you're welding big pipe all day long for 12 hours a day is the argon coming into your TIG torch is cooling it down because these, it's coming through the line that's a one piece and it has the copper around it and it's hot when it gets to the torch. So these two-piece rigs, the argon's cool and it comes in and cools off the head a lot faster than these other TIG rigs. Okay. And another benefit of the Heavy Hitters TIG rig, two-piece, is you have a valve down here so you can shut the gas off so it is not staying in the line if you step on it or pop it. These, you won't have a valve on them and you could step on it and pop it. Now you can put a valve on them, but the great thing about the Heavy Hitters is it comes ready to go with a valve. So you can shut it off here or here if you would like. But the Heavy Hitter rig is a must have for your box because Say you're on a job and you're using this one all day long and the company brings in some heavy wall. Well, I'd say about six passes later, you won't be able to grab a hold of this because it'll be so hot. Okay. So that's when you pull out your heavy hitter and you won't get hot at all. You could wear whatever gloves you want. You could probably go without a glove and it won't get hot. So that's the great thing about a two-piece heavy hitter rig. So if I was running the, the 150 amp Profax rig or, or whoever makes the you know, 150 amp one-piece rig, um, yeah, I may creep up beyond that 150 amp. I may run a couple welds at, at 160, maybe even 180 or something like that. But longevity wise, if right. I'm going to be running 160, 180 or above, I need to move up into the 250 amp? For sure. So like, say we're doing socket welds, um, a two inch socket weld. Sometimes I'll, I'll use this rig, I'll put it at 200 amps. 
but you're only welding like for maybe two seconds at a time on a socket weld because it's not that far. Now, like you said, duty cycle, this is the rig to use if you're on pipe. If you're bottom to top, non-stop, six inch heavy wall, that's what you want. You're gonna burn these up. So. Okay, and with the different rigs, you could configure um, you know, the smaller gas lands on the, the heavier duty rig, is that right? Yeah, so you can, you can switch them in and out. Um, for the heavy hitters rig, you just want the most gas coverage as possible. This one, you can put a jumbo cup, you can switch them in and out. And some TIG torches, um, there are some brands that you can actually put mini rig heads on your heavy hitter, mini rig heads on these, so it's just, there's a lot of options to choose from so okay. when, when going with TIG torches. All right. So if you guys are looking for some awesome uh, TIG rigs, check out any of these brands, Heavy Hitters, Profix, Profax, or Miller. And there's a dozen other brands out there that are pretty good. So keep in mind that the size of the rig that you need to run is going to be determined by the type of weld and the place that you're welding at. All right, guys, thanks for watching our TIG rig video. Stay tuned with our upcoming videos and check out our virtual tour of the school if you're interested in joining Kentucky Welding Institute. Have any questions or comments? Do them below and subscribe for more.